Sculptors are inventors. They envision what they want and then invent processes. So it is with Jason Mack, a glass sculptor, creating the second annual Mack Glass Christmas Tree in downtown Bloomington. The 20-foot tree should be completed outside the Bloomington Center for the Performing Arts by December 13th. Hey, Jason, tell us a little bit about um, why you are doing the Christmas tree project. Uh, well, the, the Christmas tree actually stemmed from a series of sculptures that I do that, that utilize the same technique of winding uh, liquid glass around a steel, a spinning steel armature. Mac invented his own process of glass spinning as a way to produce large sculpture on site. It combines a technique of winding fiber optic cable with the traditional Venetian cane technique. The cane technique is used primarily to add stringers of finely detailed glass for adornment of an object. Mac's winding process doesn't require the usual in-studio cooling process. The glass cools on the spot outside without danger of cracking and there's no limit to the scale of the project. Community Christmas tree uses approximately 1,500 pounds of glass, half clear, half green. The glass is heated to 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Gathering irons are dipped into the glass, and the glass streams off the irons onto the tree in strings with the consistency of molasses as the tree rotates like Lazy Susan. Really, the process starts here with individuals drinking beer or non-alcoholic beverages green bottles or clear bottles, and then donating them to the Christmas tree project. <laughs>